We're here with AM Commerce head volleyball coach Craig Case as the Lions get set for the home opener this week. Coach, uh, you uh, traveled to Denver last week at the Colorado Premier Challenge, had some ups and downs in, the, in that tournament, but uh, faced some really great competition. Give me your overall thoughts on how you thought the team reacted to playing against that tough competition last week. Well, you know, I, th I think the, re the reason you play good teams is, is to find out what you're not good at. And uh, it's really easy in practice to, to be able to, you know, feel like you're pretty good or feel like you're really bad. And you never know because you get so used to playing against yourself. And so the, the good thing about really, really good teams is, is they show you pretty decisively what you're not good at. The bad thing about that schedule, now anybody watching film, knows what AM Commerce isn't good at. And so, um, you know, the challenge now is, is just figuring out how to then work on the things that, that obviously are weaknesses for us. But, um, you know, I, I was pretty pleased with, you know, from the weekend, I was just pretty pleased with, you know, our, our overall play. Um, you know, despite going two and two, you know, I thought we, you know, we were better than we were worse that weekend. So, you know, I think if we can, if we can figure out coming out of that weekend, if we can figure out how to just have more consistency across the board, and uh, you know, I think that would clean things up a lot. Um, we're once again getting a lot of experience in fifth sets, and, and I guess that's good. Uh, you know, the positive thing about that, you know, you look at, you know, you look at most matches at the end of the year. Most of them go five, and so to to get a lot of experience early and learn how to learn what to do, learn what not to do. Um, and just kind of be able to manage the pressure that, that comes in a fifth set, I think is, is a pretty valuable lesson, especially against really good teams. You know, the, to, to beat Tampa in five and to lose to Central Missouri in five, you know, both of those guys are such good teams. That, you know, we took a lot out of both of those. So, um, you know, I, I wish we had a better record, you know, but at the same time, you know, I like where our team is heading and, and hopefully we can continue to keep getting better. And you got the home opener this week. Uh, exciting to be back in the field house. The field house has been really kind to to line volleyball for a lot of years now. Just talk about the excitement of of getting back and playing at home in front of the home fans. Well, that's it right there, right? It's it's our you know it's been kind to us because we got great fans. And um, you know the the thing that I love about our fans is that you know they've got a lot of faith in us, and and, and I think we've done a lot to to give them the cheer for it and, and to support but you know I remember matches last year where we'd lose the first set and we'd be we'd be down big in the second set and no one's leaving heck one match we lost two matches we lost and no one left and so we lost the uh, we lost the first two sets and so when we're on the road and we're up one nothing and, and we have a big lead in that second set a lot of times we just start seeing people leaving and so we have such a great fan base that a gets volleyball you know, B really understands our team and knows that, you know, we're, we're going to fight hard until the end. And so, um, you know, we, we love to play in front of our fans and, and we're excited about it. You know, we've, we've been talking about ever since Monday morning, you know, we've in nine days, we played eight volleyball matches. We traveled over 4,000 miles and it's exciting to finally get to play in front of our own fans. And, and hopefully we, you know, we come up with a really good product. Yeah. And you face a uh, comp, not only home opener, conference opener is, AM Kingsville and AM International come in this Friday and Saturday. What are you looking to see out of your team in this first week of conference play? Well, you know, obviously Kingsville's gonna you know want to play us pretty tough. We we played them last year and, and you know we beat them in the conference tourney and um, you know I'm sure they remember that. And so they're gonna come in pretty fired up. They've had a really, really good season so far and and every year they're good. And so, you know, you're opening up with a good team, but in the Lone Star Conference, you don't you don't find you can't go, oh, I can't wait to play Team XYZ. So um, they're really good. Well, you know, they're going to be fired up to play us. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can we can come out. They, they play quite a bit different style than anybody we've played so far. So it'll be, it'll, be an it'll be a good challenge. It'll be interesting in how our team responds to that different type of play. Um, you know, then you, you move forward to the next day when we play Texas A&M International. I mean, it's been... You know, it's probably been seven, eight years since AM International has been here. And so um, we're pretty familiar with their roster. We, you know, several players in their team. One of our coaching staff, between myself, Lauren Flowers, and Stephen Flower, you know, a lot of their players we've recruited. So uh, we know their players pretty well. We know they're pretty talented. So again, and they're having a good season too. So hopefully, 
um, you know, we can figure out how to, how to defend our home court against two really quality opponents this weekend. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to it as the Lions have their home opener this week. They begin on Friday at 6 p.m. against Texas A&M Kingsville, Saturday 2 p.m. 2 p.m. against Texas A&M International. Fans, we'd love to see you at both of those games cheering on your Lions in this home opener. Coach, best of luck this week. Thank you.